this is Brent again from Adventure Time RC. Today I have the WL Toys F949. Little uh, 182 Cessna. It's, uh, they consider it a beginner's airplane. I thought maybe we'd open it up. I'd go over the assembly, maybe look at it a little bit and uh, go over a few features and then uh, we'll take it out for a maiden flight. Alright, so first of all, the reason I'm showing the box is a lot like some of the newer little airplanes like E-Flight. You're able to uh, store your airplane inside your box when you're not using it for travel purposes. But it's got everything packed in here pretty nicely. Right right, so this is basically what you receive. Yeah, the radio kind of falls out there. You got your plane, the tools to assemble it, your battery, charger, uh, spare prop, landing gear, wing, and uh, main fuselage itself. Now the wing just pops into place and it's got one single screw that holds it in. And uh, one of the features I do like about this is instead of linear servos, it actually has two little tiny ser geared servos in there, which I like a lot better. They seem to perform better, I think. When you're wanting to put this together, you got your, your landing gear just pop out in and out. One of the features I do not like though is you do not have a steerable nose wheel. So when you are on the ground, you will just be able to go in a straight line and a straight line only. Uh, this does cause a few little bit of issues. You might have a hard time getting it in the air. I know I did. <laughs> your wheels just pop in, squeeze them, rotate, let go. Now you get a little two-place charger, it goes off the USB port, a screwdriver, hatch door, and your battery. You also receive the screw that holds your wing on, and a spare propeller. In order to put the wing on, you got a little uh, latch there, you just slide it into place. It fits pretty snug. And it pops down in there. Get your wing screw out. Screwdriver. That's it. Holds in pretty good. Now you want to get this thing ready to go and arm it. First you got to put your battery in. You'll notice it'll start blinking red. You want to turn on your radio. Throttle up, throttle down. Now you're bound up to it now. I'm not going to bother putting the hatch on, but that would just snap into place and then you'd rotate the screw sideways and that would lock it. But now that you have it in place, you want to check your control surfaces, make sure they're going the right way. Got your rudder control, got your elevator control on the same stick. This is a three channel trainer, so you don't have to worry about ailerons, that'll make it a lot easier for beginners to fly. I think in a nice open field, somebody could probably get the hang of this fairly quick. I'd leave the wheels off of it if you plan on landing in the grass though, because they're just going to cause you to skip around and wreck. Uh, then you have your throttle. Yeah, it's just a noisy little sucker. It's got uh, three little brushed motors with a center gear. The prop sticks out of that. So now that we have that all together and we've gone over that, we're going to go ahead and take it out and fly it. Thank you.
Yeah.